What's good, Houston? It's your boy, J. Cole. Welcome to Houston Eats. we back one more again, one more time, man. Hey, check this out. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe, man. That way you can get more updates to more of this good content when we are trying these delicious foods in the Houston area. All right, so today, man, it's going to be something very special, man. Near and dear to my heart. We're going to be, this is going to be the first episode of a Jamaican series. That's right. I'm going to be going around Houston trying different Jamaican food spots and letting you know what's popping and what's dropping in these streets when it comes to good Jamaican cuisine. You feel me? So the first place we're going is a place called Caribbean Hot Pot. So stay tuned. We're going to head over there and I'm going to let you know what's popping and what's dropping. So we're going to head over there and then I'm going to let you know what's shaking at the Caribbean Hot Pot. You feel me? Tell you, fam. I went inside and the vibe was uh was real cool, man. You know what I'm saying? Got the nice reggae music playing in the background, you know what I'm saying? Everything is just nice and chill, you feel me? Um I'm tell you this food smelling real good right now, fam. I can't wait. I'm about to tear this up, man. I'm gonna tear this up. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, I'm I'm salivating right now because it smells amazing. Um I'm just gonna give you a rundown of everything that I, I got. So today, for your view and pleasure, I will be sampling their oxtails, jerk wings, a beef patty, because come on fam, you can judge any Jamaican restaurant by their beef patties. You just, you, just, you just gotta try the beef patties, man. You gotta try the beef patties, that's just staple standard. You gotta try the beef, if, you, if, you're, going to, if you're going to try, a Jamaican spot, you gotta try the beef patties, man. You gotta see what they're working with, you feel me? Okay, and I'm gonna be sampling their uh, Jamaican bottle sodas. I, cho I chose the pineapple, you know. I thought that'd be a good little, a little taste. And um, everything came out to $41.04. The oxtails are pretty pricey. Anybody who knows about oxtails, they're, they're pretty pricey. Um, then with the wings and then the, the, uh, the beef patty and then the soda, you know, Came out to about forty dollars, which, which isn't bad. It's not bad, you know what I'm saying. Um, but this enough of that. I want y'all to be able to get the full experience of what this place has to offer. I could just got the oxtails and just left it at that. Nah, I want y'all to actually get a good, well-rounded idea of the foods that they have, right? So first, um, should I start with the soda? Nah, you know what? I'm gonna take a good look at it though. Nice little Jamaican pop. Yeah, you see it? Yeah, you know. I think I'm gonna start with the beef patty. I mean, it's only right. It's only right to start with the beef patty. Okay. Nice little situation right here. All right, let me let y'all get a, look at that. The beef patty. Yeah, man. You yeah, know. Look at that's flaky, crunchy, crispy. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is Caribbean. Oh, look at that. You see that flaky? You see that flakiness? Look at that, man. I just want y'all to get a good idea. Just yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. And it's it's flaky, but it's also squishy, and you can tell the meat is is nice and ju and um juicy. You know. All right. I'm not gonna keep you on suspense. No more. Let's taste. Mm. 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 Let's see. What's my like? Mm. Oh man. 
Look at that. I want y'all to see. Ooh. Look at that beef. That beef cake. I'm doing a bad job of showing this to y'all. My bad. Can y'all see this? Mm. Oh. Listen to me. Listen to me, man. When I say this beef patty, it's so juicy. It's so flaky on the outside. But just listen. I didn't have a lot of beef patties in my time. Mm. Mm. That's a dang good beef patty, man. Man. Look. I love. I, excuse me. I didn't have a lot of beef patties in my day. And a lot of times, the main problem you, you get with beef patties, they're too dry. Nice flaky crust, but then when you get the meat, it's either. Not enough meat, or the meat that's in there is real dry and not juicy. This meat is, oh man, it's so juicy, so flavorful. And that's another problem too. Sometimes beef patties, they don't have enough seasoning, it seems like. This one is very flavorful, very well seasoned. Mmm, nice little spice, hips of spice. Not overwhelming though, but it's just right. Mm. I'm sure I ain't got no flex and beard. Now, this is a oh man, I wish I could see. Let me see. Hmm. Get a little more light up in here. Oh man. Oh, look at that. That beef patty, man. All right, let me see. That ain't gonna help. I can't get no more light in here, y'all. I'm sorry. Uh right. fact, hold up. I got a better idea. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, see, look at that. Mm-hmm. I want you to see. Ooh, I want you to see the action, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Don't mind the ashy fingers. Just look how look at all the grease dripping off of this beef patty. Don't mind the ashy knuckles. Okay, it's it's enough, it's enough, it's enough grease in this meat. I can lotion my fingers with these things, so don't even worry about that. Oh man, look at that. Ooh, she the ooh, baby. This what you call a beef patty. Beef patty, baby. I love a Caribbean hot pot. Y'all winning with your beef patties. Mmm. Alright. So we're gonna put this up. We're going to the next next dish. First, let me clear the palette. With some of this. Pineapple soda. Okay. Nice, fresh and sweet. You know, you would think a pineapple soda, you would think it's gonna be like super, super like, super duper sweet. And you would think this is gonna be like, oh man, it's good, but it's, I can't take it. It's actually not, it's, it's sweet, it's very sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's just the right amount of sweetness, man, just to wash it on down. And the carbonation isn't like a traditional soda where it's like a, a strong burn back in your throat. No, it's just nice, smooth, chill. Everything about it, you know, everything about it is just uh, Jamaican restaurant is smooth, man. The vibe inside is smooth. The, uh, the the beef patty went down smooth. The soda's going down smooth. It's just chill and smooth, man. I, I, I feel it. Hmm. Nice. Palette is officially cleansed. Let's move on to the next thing. Jerk wings. Yeah. See? A jerk. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that smells good. Oh, yeah. Nice. Right. You know I you know I gotta get you. You know I gotta give y'all a better view. Come on. Ooh, baby. Baby, ooh yeah, man, look at these. Look at that. Look at all them seasonings and the herbs. Oh yeah, and that sauce, that jerk sauce. Let me tell you, fam, the smell that's coming off this right now is amazing. Oh man, let me oh, look. You see, I just tear apart. This is my fingers, y'all. It's just tearing apart, just. Oh, I mean, did, bro, bro, mm, I can get too messy with you, I can get too messy with you, come on, mm, mm, y'all, y'all see the vibes, right, look at this, look at this, mm, 
Let's taste. no reason why food should be that good fam these wings oh my god man ain't no way these wings supposed to be this good like this fam these jerk wings oh man miss it i can't oh yo this is it they hitting man they hitting you talking about popping and dropping these things pop like dropping doing all that stuff man yo these they out of control man with my hot pot yard ooh I ain't got to the ox tears yet, fam. It's just a jerk wing. It's just a jerk wings, man. And they cutting up like this already? <laughs> Yo. They hitting. They hitting. I ain't even gonna fuck. Hey. But you know what the main start. You know what the main attraction is. Is the ox tears. Boy, you know we want. That's, that's, that's what we're waiting on, man. We want to pop them with them tails, baby. <laughs> This thing is heavy. We back, baby. <laughs> we back. Woo! Ooh. And I can smell it. Got the oxtails with the gravy just, just glistening. You got red beans and rice. You got the cabbage. Oh man, I don't even eat cabbage like that, but uh I can tell uh, the vibes this chunk is probably gonna be good. Let me see. Let me see. Mmm. Mmm, mm, that's good. Cabbage is good. Mmm. Let me get y'all a better look at this. Oh yeah, you see that? Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh, and you see how tender that thing is? You see how tender? Just break apart. Just break apart. Just break apart. Disintegrate. Disintegration. See, that's what our test. That's what it's supposed to do. Plastic fork, baby. Plastic fork. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. That's how it go. Oh yeah, you know what time it is, fam. You know what time it is. Hold up, let me show you. Look at that. Moment of truth. Let's go ahead and tear this. Ooh, you hear that? Hmm. It sound like that WAP, baby. What is this? Hmm. You hear that? Get together and feel all right. Mm. All right. It's all right. Let's get together and feel all right. Yo, fam. I know my singing ain't good, but this, this Oxtail show is busting, fam. <laughs> hey, it's busting. Tell me. Oh, my goodness, man. And then you take the. See, listen, listen to me. I could tell the gravy. I didn't hit oxtail before from, from other establishments, and the gravy wasn't hitting. 
you can't have good oxtails in the, in, the, in, the, in the gravy. It's just some old generic crap. You can't do that, man. But you can tell these oxtails, they actually created the, uh, they created the gravy with the juices from the actual meat because hmm, when you get when you get the um, red beans and rice stir up in that gravy oh man with the oxtail meat it's hmm, can't believe this it's amazing so hey if you ain't used to and you want to check out some good uh, Jamaican food Caribbean hot pot is definitely one of the spots you want to check out mm. Well, let me go ahead and clean the palette one more time. Mm. Well, that's it for today's episode, man. Like I said, this is going to be the first. This is episode one of my Jamaican food series. So there's going to be a few more other places around the Houston area that I'm going to be um, trying out. And I'm going to let you know, you know, how they fare against each other, you know, or what I recommend them uh, if you want some good Jamaican cuisine. And we're off to a good start because Caribbean hot pot, Knocked it out of the water, hands down, period. When it comes to good Jamaican food, hey, Caribbean hot pot, y'all doing your thing out here. Well, anyway, thank y'all for watching. If you, like I said, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, it helps the channel grow. And it also uh, ensure that you get updates on more of the good food that we're gonna be, that I'm gonna be um, showing y'all here in Houston, all right? Anyway, I'm not going to make this video too long. It's starting to rain, so I need to get out this, this terrible weather. I love y'all. See you next time. Peace.